Hey everybody, it's Killbot the Gamer here. Welcome to Diablo 3. This is part 34 of our Diablo 3 walkthrough. I think it's 34. Let's talk to Imperius. We're hunting down death. Malthael is my brother. Malthael, whatever his name is. battles by his side, and I care not that he seeks to destroy you and your kind. What? My brother has grown sick, and he must be put down for his own sake. Did I? And so it falls to you. Doesn't fill me with hope. You have to kill him. Not because, you know, I disagree with him, but... Because he's like a sick dog. Pass of war, let's go! And the mini cutscene. Tried to stop me from entering Pandemonium. But nothing will keep me from him. No, indeed. Now I will cross these battlefields where angels and demons once fought. I must find the Pandemonium Fortress where the Angel of Death waits for me. I and I will kill him with a sword. Death because apparently that kills angels. It's just regular whatever. Whatever you find lying around. It's possible to plunge it into death if you wanted to. The battlefields of eternity? What does that mean? Like this? This is where angels and demons fight all the time? There is a siege camp not far from here. Meet me there, and I will show you what must be done. Okay. Why don't you just take me there? Because that would be kind of easier. I need fury. I don't know what you guys are, but you're not gonna survive long. I do like the the whoa my holy crabaffle. What? You will need to do better if you want to stand any chance. Well, I'm sorry. Kind of a douche. Frankly, I don't think anyone could have done that. That's one thing I don't really like is a lot of these armor stands. Just contain regular armor. Very rarely does anything better pop up. I'm trying. Must I do everything for you? Yes. I wonder if this was, now that we're in the last kind of act of the game, if there's a little bit more straightforwardness to it. I mean, that, that certainly wasn't the case with uh, the previous episodes. But I'm hoping we're kind of like, I feel like we're getting to the end. We're almost there. Oh, here he comes again. It's like a disapproving father. Oh, I had to bail you out of jail again, Killbot. I'm sorry. Boop. And chest. We're in heaven, but not much there. Let's go talk to him. Do you see the battering ram below? No. That is the only way you can breach the fortress gates. Oh, I see now. But it is useless without the siege rooms that power it. You have one in your possession, but there are two more. You will find them on the battlefield below, in prison along with the demons that carried them. Once you have the rooms, go to the ram. But know this, Nephilim. Even if you release Malthael from his madness, I will not thank you for it. I do not want your thanks. No. In fact, you're kind of being an idiot. Ooh. 
What a surprise, regular armor. Battlefields. Can he... Okay. What are these guys? Primordial scavengers. What? Is this me or does it kind of look like uh, alien? You know, Geiger. His alien creations. Ah, your head is off. You are doomed. Whoa, what the heck are these guys? Sort of slug tentacly things. I'm intrigued. And yet grossed out. I feel like I should kill those little things. Come on. I know I should just skip all these peripheral fights. Let's run. Run to the battle. And I'm awesome. At least I'd like to take all the credit. But where's the other one? You know there's more. Gold. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. I'll let my follower take care of these little things while I run towards and release them from their prison. I think you're so powerful, but you're not. You're retarded. Probably should move out of that little beam of sorceress light. Not ready yet. Well, why aren't you ready? Okay, now I gotta find the entrance. Oh, look. Conveniently, an arrow is pointing me right there. That is what I like to see. Something straightforward. Stop running around, you guys. It annoys me. Let's go this way. Hive cluster? I don't know what that is, but... It intrigues me. I want to find out. Now these guys remind me of the aliens from, uh, oh, what's that movie? Man, I can't even remember the name of it. Richard, Neil Patrick Harris. Rico Zuffnecks. <laughs> That's not the name of the movie, by the way. Starship Troopers. That's it. Now I remember the name. There's... Oh, is there a queen? There is. Let's go to the siege thing. 
Ouch. Am I going the wrong way? What the heck? Oh, it's one of those scavenger guys. Angelic scrolls. Millennium is the Alpha and the Omega of the eternal conflict. It lies at the center of all things, linking the realms of heaven and hell. Long ago, when the angels were young, the aspect of wisdom found the eye of Anu here. He named it the World Stone, and all of heaven swore to protect it. Blah, 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 blah. Just point me at something so I can kill it. That's so difficult. Get away from the ram! Heard of a douchey thing. Help me, brothers! <laughs> that was awesome. I bear grave news, my friend. The sliver has revealed Malvale's plan to me. It's a piece of it's rock, man. I could have imagined. He means to use the Black Soul Stone to capture all demonic essences. If the stone is altered to rip the demonic essence out of every man, woman, and child on Sanctuary, they will all die. Still stop him. We need Malvale is fundamentally altering the Black Soul Stone. It will now pull in all the demonic essence from whatever plane of existence it finds itself in. But Don't care. Mind is born of angel and demon alike. Every mortal, save myself, has demonic essence as an intrinsic part of their being. Oh, look, we're gonna fight some people while they're rip their body and soul apart. So they're gonna like ran into the door. Oh, that's awesome. I don't think there's any way we could have survived. Like, we would have been thrown against the door, too. So cool visual, physically not very real. Boom! I will let it. Not stop me from killing death. Well, I'm trying. There's only so much I can do, though. Boom! Chaka laka. We only have one strike left. Coming for you. For freedom! It is done. Indeed it is. Let's go in. Pandemonium Fortress, level one. You think one of the angels could have just like activated these waypoints for us and then. Whatever. Pandemonium See, he's right here already. When I fought yeah. Malthale, my sword passed through him like air. He is in a state of death and life, impervious to physical harm. But Your you can make fun of him and make him cry. Feed him. You must channel. Look at the spirits gathered below. Could they be the key? The power of the dead. If you could become one with it. You would be as Malthale is. But you must find a way, quickly. And how do you do that? It doesn't really tell you how to do it. It just says, oh, just become one with them. Like this barbarian would just figure it out. Of course! Just become one! Why didn't barbarian I think of that? Come to walk these halls. I feel a kinship to that spirit. One of my tribe. Perhaps an ancestor. This time we both saw him. Spirits, give me your aid. I, I am the guardian, speaker for the spirits of your ancestors. Help me out here. I see in you your... Join with me, and with the power of your spirits, Malthael will no longer be able to hide behind the veil. 
Our spirits are bound by Malthael's magic. I have only enough strength to open the path for you. Well, then do it. Or just we are in prison. So is this the way we go? Cutscene? Nephilim. The Black Soulstone journeys through the portal to Sanctuary. Oh, and it'll kill all the people. It spreads death across your world. All those people. No I must save them. The eternal conflict. For Leah. And the babies we would have had. I don't know, is that where we go? Death Gate? I'm gonna guess, yes. And I'm just gonna kill the chickens. Barbecue them. Shall do nothing to me, chicken. No, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I just tried to attack my follower. The enchantress. Not very nice of me. Strife. Angels and demons who feel enslaved by our fate. I cannot nope. be unique in all of creation. I know my path. I will find those disillusions of the war and lead them. Or you could just kill all the demons like you're supposed to. But no. I want to be all like. I don't know. Give peace a chance, crap. Come on, you guys know it's crap too. As long as one side's determined to kill you, not really worthwhile. Is there anything down here? This is the other way. And no. Hmm. Is the stairs. Oh, there's some sort of magic person. Around here somewhere. I'm sure there is. 
and quit calling me Shirley. <laughs> Airplane. Good time. If you guys get a chance, you should really watch it. Assassins, winged or otherwise, shall die. My father is content to fight the same battles and the same foes while everything turns to ashes. Though his victories might last a day, or a year, or a hundred years, the war will never be won so long as he and his brothers lead. There is an end to it, but fools like my father are too blind to see it. Yeah. All this infighting. I just don't get along. You know, I did not care much for him at first, but Lyndon is beginning to grow on me. Oof. He pretends to be quite good. There, this is where we are going to end. Oh my goodness, yes, this is where we're going to end part 34 of our Diablo 3 walkthrough. We're going to take a break and continue the search for death itself. Where we're going to smack it around like a little... I'm not going to use the word because it's inappropriate. So if you like the video, comment down below, give us a thumbs up, and of course subscribe, that is always helpful. And I will see you tomorrow with our next part. Bye guys!